We need a cinematic shot. We need you to just hand me this. Such a great shot here. Ready? Thank you so much. Hello, package. I have zero clue what's in this box. Alrighty. Oh, this package in particular is a bunch of API stuff. We're always hooking it up. As you guys know, API is a big sponsor of this channel. Thanks, API, for all the product. And I also have this box that I want to unbox before we get today's video started as well. This is really cool from Dalton. Shout out to Dalton. Look at that picture of me. I also have that really cool fan art right there by Aaron. Shout out to Aaron. I am your biggest fan and I think you have the best videos to watch. Well, that was a quick little unboxing. Now let's go outside and feed the animals. Look what's here. This is for our next video. You can just read the labels. Live fish. What? Subscribe down below so you don't miss that. Let's go see what the animals are up to on this cloudy, rainy day. What is going on, Kafros? Welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this one. <laughs> As you can see by the title and thumbnail, it's a big day. We're gonna go into the house for the first time on the channel. But before then, we gotta feed all our little boogers here at the farm. What's up, everyone? How you doing, goats? That's like a palace over there. Well, who built that, huh? Who built that? These guys are nuts. I gotta go get food today, I think. Oh yeah, we're low. We're real low. Oh, it's so nasty out. Ducklings are getting so big. They look like full-on Muscovies now. Look at them. Hey, little ones. Kevin. Whoa, mama. Kevin. What up, Kev? Gary. 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 Hello there, Baloo. How's life going? Swell? Oh. Hey, mom. Uh, eh, uh. Anyways, I gotta feed everyone. I kinda just wanted to show you the animals prior to making this video because today's video is a lot of just hanging out with me, vlogging at the new place, explaining why I got the new house. I shouldn't say new house, I should just say another house because we're not getting rid of the farm. You, you already know that. We still got more projects to do here. This is not going anywhere, by the way. This is always gonna be mine. I feel like until the day I die, pretty much. Suzanne, hi Suzanne, hey. Mango, what up buddy? Like I mentioned, we just got some new fish that arrived and Tommy's on his way over. We're going to be cleaning out all the tanks um, as our weekly thing. And also, I think he's bringing some more stuff for the saltwater tank. So next video should be pretty interesting. Back on the whole topic of what we normally do. Make sure to smash that like button. Let's get right on into it. Now, if you don't want to hear me talk for the next 10 minutes, I wouldn't miss this actually. But I will see you tomorrow because I'm posting tomorrow. I'll have a video up tomorrow as well. Love you so much. Enjoy. Well, if you guys ever want to come over, sleep over, you know, hang out. If you miss the house at all, you let me know. We need a cinematic shot. We need you to just hand me this. Such a great shot here. Ready? Thank you so much. <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. Home sweet home, fellas. Listen, today I'm gonna to give you a full walkthrough of the inside of the new house. What am I doing with this house? I'll also tell you that. And I'm gonna pick a little bit of my business brain out and dump that onto YouTube as well, which I've never done before, so stay tuned. The process behind getting this house was absolutely insane. I've been to multiple, multiple houses, put offers on multiple houses. I was gonna buy this one, but it uh, didn't work out. I loved this one, and this one, unfortunately, didn't work out either and just happened to end up with this one. Everything happens for a reason, let's put it this way, because this is the nicest one out of all the ones I looked at. It's so nice to have a room with carpet. Now the market is crazy, especially down here in South Florida, like over 400,000 people from New York, California, all these bigger states are coming here for multiple different reasons, but there's a lot of new people coming into South Florida. There's like a total of 57 houses, I believe available in Florida. In this case, it's a very hard market to get a house in. You're constantly fighting other people for these homes, put it that way. And there's multiple other reasons on why I lost the two other houses I was looking at. My offers were accepted. Now getting your offer accepted to a house is literally just the beginning of all the hassle. Then you gotta get the inspection done, and then you gotta get it appraised, and then after you get it appraised, then you do all the paperwork, and then it's yours. In this case, those two other homes, I would get the inspection. You wanna get the inspection before you buy a house, just in case there's, you know, mold, and roof damage, and a cracked window that you didn't see. 
that guy will come through, he'll put all the things that are wrong with the house, and then you can ask for money off your accepted offer. Then after the inspection, you get the appraisal, and the appraisal is what the home is worth. Say this home, for instance, uh, was appraised at 460,000. My offer was accepted at 458,000. So technically, I already made $2,000 equity in this house just by buying it. I got very lucky, we found the house before it was even on the market, and there's been offers on this house that are I could resell this house right now if I wanted to and make $20,000 easily, but I don't want to do that. I, I, I like this house. It's it's awesome. <laughs> Say my offer was accepted at four fifty eight, correct? This is what happened to the other two houses, by the way. This house got appraised at four thirty. I now need to come up with the other $28,000. On top of my 20% down, that issue happened with the other two houses and I just did not have the money to come up with straight out of my pocket. That's where the appraisal gets you. The craziest part is this market. Some people aren't even getting appraised and they're buying the house without even getting it appraised. They have no idea what it's even worth. They just need it, they want it, and people are buying it for $50,000 more than the house is even worth. I got very lucky and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to even make enough amount of money at my age to buy a second home, especially in such a perfect location. We're gonna walk down, I'm gonna show you how close the water is, I'm gonna take a walk. Let's see how long it takes me to get to the beach. Ready, sit. Hello, Shadow. We're really hanging out together today. This is a full on vlog. Me and you, just hanging, chilling. One minute, and we're already on the trail. <laughs> this is awesome. And there she is. Boom. Water. Literally two minutes to your own personal beach. All right, enough making you wait. I just wanted to spit a couple things at you. Let's give you a full house tour. Hello, neighbor. Big old yard, and we'll get into the backyard here in a little bit. Here's the front of the house. I love this color. I love the blue. It fits this area. You got the beautiful deck out front. And a very big living space. I mean, a lot of living space. I would think this is more of like your, your dining area. That's more like the couch area. And that's like another table area. The inside is definitely big. This is a three bedroom house, technically four by the time we're done, and I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do to this room right here. Because we are going to make this a closet. Hector's gonna come, we're taking this wall, making this a full wall, we're gonna make this a closet here, which will turn this into a fourth bedroom. So it will be four bedrooms. This is a 2,041 square foot home, so it's, it's a pretty big home. Over here are the bedrooms. You walk through, first bedroom right here, nothing crazy, you know? Nice little room, closet. Over here, next room. Not big at all, this is really tiny actually. This is like a kid's room, you know? Hey. Over here, next room. Oh, that's a bathroom. But this is the master room, and this is what I was thinking. So, the master room, we definitely put a floor. I'm probably gonna do vinyl floors to the entire house. Um, I don't like the carpet. Nothing too much money, because I don't want to dump too much money into this. But we're gonna take this, leave this, but take this whole wall out and make this one giant opening. So behind this wall, this room right here. So this is all gonna be part of the master bedroom. We're knocking this wall down, and this will all be part of the master bedroom. It's gonna be a big old room. And then that will be a wall, get what I'm saying? This will all be like even deeper into there, all be part of a closet, custom closet. I love this by the way. Look at this little, oh my God. Fan sounds like a tornado. A little barn door. And this shower is gonna get completely taken out and redone. How am I supposed to shower in this thing? I gotta get on my knees. <laughs> and we're gonna make some awesome videos just completely destroying this wall and other things in the house that we wanna switch up. By the way, all of that will be on my vlog channel, so if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel, make sure to subscribe to the vlog channel down below. I'm just filming the walkthrough video here on the main channel. Everything else in this house will be on the vlog channel. So yes, master bathroom, bedroom is gonna be completely redone. Here is the bathroom between all the rooms. They just put this new sink in, I think, before. I like the sink. That's cool. I missed the light. We've all been there. You ever just go to reach for the light, you miss it, so you gotta go back. All the rooms are over here. Lots of open space. Walk all the way through. Woo! Into the kitchen area. And this is my favorite part of the house, because I love kitchens. You know why? Because that's where the food's at. Anyway, this is the kitchen. Big old kitchen. Got a nice little island here. You can put some stools on the back side. Brand new stove. Brand new microwave. I mean, the stuff is still inside of it. 
Fridge is definitely not new, but got Chick-fil-A ketchup in there. I never can go wrong. And then you're back to the sunroom, which is where we initially started. Let's go outside. If I can unlock it. There we go. Holy hot. Backyard needs a lot of work, put it that way. The grass is not looking too good. Um, the irrigation doesn't work too good. But that's all stuff that's easily fixable without spending too much money. This is a giant fence that opens, so you could put like a boat back here or something. This shed is freaking sick, dude. I love this thing. This is my favorite thing on the entire property. Woohoo! Look at that, baby. Massive, massive shed. Imagine, now this is where my brain comes into play. We do a cool little AC system in here and make this a fish room. This could be a massive fish room. Just think about that. Reptiles, fish room, it could be anything. Let me know what you wanna see inside this shed down below. Holy blind, but what guy? and maybe even some girls. What guy wouldn't love a shed though? The man's best friend. This is the whole entire add-on to the house. That's that sunroom that we were just in. This was actually a screened-in patio and they created it as an extra room. Um, grass is just not looking good at all. That's their RV. They still gotta come get that. Big yard, like plenty of space to have lots of fun activities and maybe lots of pigs. That is the backyard. Oh, and this right here is the laundry room. That right there, Caparos is the house. And I want to thank every single one of you for watching all these videos because without y'all, this is not possible. Now though, so why the heck I bought a house in the first place? Y'all know, the farm has so much stuff. There's not a chance, like I already mentioned, I would never sell it in my entire life, regardless of where I ever move in the, in the future. Owning a house is incredible, man. Like, my house has went up hundreds of thousands of dollars in the last year and a half I've lived there. I'm just living somewhere. And not only is the house being paid off, my credit goes up, and the value of the home just keeps on continuing to skyrocket because everyone wants to live here in Florida. You just can't beat real estate. I've done the whole crypto and stock thing, and I've just never been a big fan of it. You know, I could have bought a Lamborghini. I could have bought something that would depreciate constantly every time I sat in it and drove in it. I would love a Lamborghini. I actually really would. But I needed to do something because YouTube, you never know. And I just never like put my money to use. Although I'm putting it into my business, what am I just going to keep putting everything into it? I need to put a little bit aside and then make that money, make its own money so that I can keep doing this, but yet make this that. Get what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. I don't want to bombard your brain with a bunch of numbers and talking, but that's pretty much what this video is. Save your money, save your money, save your money, and just buy real estate. Everyone always is gonna need a roof over their head, and it's just true. Another reason is my parents actually are trying to move. My dad works closer to my farmhouse. I work a lot more over in that area other than at my house, but I have a lot of friends in that area the new house area, etc. So I was thinking, they moved to the farm, I still come every other day, you wouldn't even notice a difference on the channel. They sell the house that I grew up in, made the first videos in, to me, so I still own that one too. Then I have three houses, I can Airbnb rent out the one that I started this channel on. They could live here at the farmhouse, my mom loves the animals, she could feed the ducks or whatever that I don't end up taking to the new one, because I would take like all the pigs. I'd still come here every other day for work. The fact that I could actually do all that and make my parents happy is really what matters because they want to be here. I would love to be there and they would love to be here, so it just makes a lot of sense. But this is not official, nor am I ever getting rid of any of the houses. I'm keeping the first house I ever started this channel and I'm keeping this farmhouse no matter what the heck happens. I'll stay here, I don't mind it, but if my mom's happier here, I would love for her to be happy. It's so much to take in, especially if you have no idea behind the scenes. It's just family stuff. But just know, nothing's changing. The channel's gonna be the same. I'm still gonna be here at the farm every other day, every day, every, you know, whatever. And that's if this happens. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be renting out this house. And that would open up a lot of content for us, doing the fish room, that, that shed, um, remodeling this entire house. It's so much more content, but yet still having this and the original house we started in. All right, I think, I said everything I need to say. Oh, back to past Paul. I wanna make this very clear. I don't make this video to be that guy like, oh, yo, I have two houses at the age of 20. I'm strictly making this video because I want to spread my knowledge and what I'm doing with my life with you watching. So maybe it inspires you and gets you out there to do this yourself. Now my new hobby is real estate and whatever I do with this property, whether I live in it a couple weeks from now or I don't, growing my money, letting my money work for me is the way to put that. And that's kind of why I bought it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's so many different options. I could ramble on all day and talk all day. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for making this possible. Subscribe if you're new, smash the like button. Let's see 25,000 likes on this video. I mean, come on. And without further ado, Kaferos, I will see your beautiful face in the next video, which I've got great plans, by the way. Great video.
Peace out!